Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, and this lesson tonight, we are going to be working on build your vocabulary number 20 in the advanced section. So let's switch over. We have to get our work screen, and here it is. So now if you guys have already done build your vocabulary numbers one through 19 in the advanced section, you already know that having a strong and large vocabulary is necessary for communicating with others, reading, writing, listening, and speaking in English. I chose words for you that are not typically found in a basic English program, but nonetheless are very important and very common English words. I want you guys to learn these words by heart and incorporate them into your daily speaking whenever possible. <clears throat> now here are the eight words that we're going to be working with tonight. We have the word derogatory, trailblazer, unusual, grizzly, circumspect, brouhaha, apprehensive, and forensics. Let's start with the word apprehensive. Now this word means feeling fearful, worried, or anxious about something in the near or distant future having a feeling that something bad, unpleasant, distressing, or horrible may happen. Okay, here's some sample sentences. The little girl looked very apprehensive on her first day of school. My friend has been trying to get me to go skydiving with him for a long time. I have finally agreed to go, but I am still feeling really apprehensive about it. The caring and gentle nurse was able to reassure the crying and apprehensive child before the surgery. You have always been such a courageous and daring person. Why are you feeling so apprehensive about living on your own? Of course, I believe that it is a good idea, but I am just feeling a little apprehensive about the possible consequences. Oh, don't be so apprehensive. Live a little and take some risks. Trust me, you won't regret it. I hate when people say that. Actually, I usually say that to people. The teachers were really apprehensive about using the new technology, so they asked for a demonstration before implementing it, in, it into their classrooms. A trailblazer. Now, a trailblazer is a person that opens or creates a path or a trail for others to follow. A person that leads, takes risks, and overcomes obstacles and challenges in a particular field or venture, such as art, science, medicine, technology, or education. Or we can just call this person a pioneer. He was truly an astonishing and brilliant trailblazer in his time. It is believed that he has influenced and impacted the field of medicine in a variety of ways to this day. Her role in society established her as a trailblazer for the recognition of women's rights and gender equality. Which country was the trailblazer in the reuse and recycling of glass and plastic items? As a trailblazer in the education system, she led the way to the restructuring, planning, and development of the new educational reform. Nobody can agree on who was the most influential trailblazer in rock and roll. In my opinion, 
rock and roll was born through the contribution of many talented artists. Steve Jobs was one of the most powerful, inspirational, and distinguished trailblazers of our time. Derogatory, now this word means having and expressing a disrespectful attitude or a low opinion towards others. Words or statements used to insult, hurt, or ridicule others. You should consider the feelings of others before making such derogatory statements. Because of his big ego, if you say anything derogatory to him, he will surely fire back at you, so be prepared for that. I was pleasantly surprised because for the first time, she had nothing derogatory to say to me. I don't feel that what I said was derogatory in any way. Maybe you just misinterpreted or misunderstood what I said. If you post sensitive topics on social media, you may receive some very derogatory comments. Those derogatory terms are really not acceptable. You must apologize at once, at once means right away, in case you don't know, for saying those horrible things. Tensions will rise and performance will drop at work if you treat or speak to your employees in a derogatory way. Now the word circumspect means being cautious or careful, a person that avoids problems and conflict and is not willing to take risks, a person that is thoughtful before speaking or reacting. She felt a little circumspect about entering into the agreement without having much prior knowledge about the organization but nonetheless, she signed the documents and shook hands with her new partners. <clears throat> you should have taken more time and been more circumspect before purchasing this property. Be alert and be circumspect of the proposals and invitations that you receive by phone and by email. He was normally shy, timid, and circumspect when meeting new people. But since he is now working in the admissions department at the college, he has learned to become friendly, helpful, and welcoming. After hearing about several cases of unpleasant side effects, my doctor said that he is now circumspect about prescribing that medication, so he gave me an alternative medication. He was wise to remain circumspect while considering his future political intentions. Unusual means not common or very rare, bizarre or strange, different from others, out of the ordinary. The police went door to door asking the residents if they had seen or heard anything unusual that night. Her wedding dress was unusual, but nonetheless, an amazing creation by the talented Italian seamstress. I forgot to mention, if there are words in this lesson that you don't know, besides the eight words that we are working with tonight, don't forget to look them up in your dictionary, put them in your vocabulary list and study your vocabulary list. He has the most unusual but beautiful facial features. I have never seen such unusual color combinations in one room, 
but somehow it all works together to make one dynamic visual effect. I didn't notice anything unusual about him, but Jackie noticed that he had a strange and possibly fake British accent. It's unusual for the Canada geese to still be here at this time of the year. It was, a new, it was an unusual wedding gift, but we really appreciated her creativity. Something unusual happened last night, and I think you should know. We had an unusual amount of snow last winter. Now, brouhaha means a loud or noisy reaction, usually from a crowd or group of people that are showing or verbalizing their dissatisfaction, disapproval, criticism, or anger towards something. How can I concentrate with all this brouhaha happening around me? His words created an enormous brouhaha that even he wasn't expecting. When notified of the increase in taxes, the citizens erupted in a brouhaha. How can you make such an enormous brouhaha over something that doesn't even concern you? Whenever he doesn't get exactly what he wants, exactly when he wants, he causes an incredible brouhaha that can last for hours and sometimes even days. Because of all the brouhaha, he decided to step down from his position as COO, and this means the chief operating officer. Because of all the brouhaha over the last election results, specific guidelines were put in place to ensure fairness and honesty in the electoral process in order to accurately reflect the will of the citizens. Forensics. Forensics is forensic science, which involves the scientific analysis of physical evidence using the methods of biology, physics, and chemistry to detect clues and facts about crimes to establish links among the evidence, the victim, crime scene, and suspect in order to determine guilt, innocence, or the involvement of a person. Because of the forensic evidence, the prosecutors were able to easily secure a conviction. She will complete her major in forensic anthropology this semester. <clears throat> there are no fingerprints, footprints, bloodstains, shoe or tire impressions, hairs, skin cells, body fluids, or fibers. Therefore, there is no forensic evidence to tie my client to this crime. We must wait for the forensic data to be processed then we will know who is responsible for this crime. Crime scene investigators are responsible for identifying, collecting, and documenting forensic samples at the location of the crime. There were no eyewitnesses, but they were eventually convicted solely on the forensic evidence. Now the word grisly, which means horrifying, frightful, very unpleasant, something that causes fear or alarm. His drawing of a fictitious grisly monster won first prize in the art contest at school. 
I don't want to hear the grisly details. The fire raged through the connecting buildings for hours and the aftermath was a grisly scene. Don't show her those grisly pictures. She will have nightmares for a long time. They should cut that grisly footage out of that movie. It really isn't necessary for the viewers to see that. The tabloids don't usually publish such grisly photos. The forensic experts sifted through the grisly evidence for days. And that's it. So now you have eight new vocabulary words to add to your vocabulary for reading, writing, speaking, listening, and singing. As you know, I love to sing, but I don't sing very well, but I still love to sing. Doesn't matter. You can still do it. If that video helped you, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can put a like on the video. You can leave a comment down below, or you can just say hello. If you guys want to improve your English quickly, you can get yourselves a copy of Basic English. This is the third edition. It is published by McGraw-Hill and available everywhere, including Amazon. If you guys get a copy of this book, I strongly suggest that you start at the very beginning. You work on every single page, complete every single page right through to the end of the book. The answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning. It will really help you to increase your English comprehension very quickly, okay? If you're having difficulty with your verb tenses, you can get yourselves a copy of English Verb Tenses, also available on, available on Amazon. If you get a copy of this book, I want you guys to start on the first page, complete every page right through to the end of the workbook. The answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning also. If you get one or both of these books and you leave them on your shelves, in a closet, under your bed, in the kitchen, in a drawer in the kitchen, and you don't work on the books, they will not help you. You actually have to complete the books. You have to do the work. OK, to see the difference. Also, there are many lessons on my YouTube channel that will really help to improve your English. You can flip through those, choose the ones you feel you need help with or better yet, do them all because there's so much in each of them. Also, I have a new Facebook page. It's called Learn English with Julie Lachance. I put up some things over there also for you guys that will help you a little bit as well. So I've said everything that I have.